Hello, my name is Glenn Jeffrey, and I'm Professor of Neuroscience at the Institute of Ophthalmology at University College London. I'm interested in the impact of light not only on the eye, but also in the body in general. So how does sunlight affect our body? How does light from man-made devices affect our visual system? That's really where most of my research is centred. We've evolved in natural sunlight for millions of years, and that's got a really good balance between the blue and the red, and it's determined so many factors in our lives. But the trouble is now we're working inside, we're living inside, and what has tended to happen is that there's been a growth in the dominance of blue in our visual environment, which is very different from our evolutionary history. Blue light has some advantages. It makes images look sharp. So in an industrial environment or looking at a computer screen, blue is good because it increases awareness and attention. But unfortunately, it also has a downside to it. Long exposure to blue light is associated with eye strain. And, and funnily enough, and people don't really know this, it can actually even change your blood pressure and it can change your heart rate. It can also reduce mitochondrial function. Mitochondria provide the energy in our cells for all the things that we do and it can undermine general metabolism. Exposure to blue light late in the day disrupts our circadian patterns, and the consequence of that can be it disrupts melatonin, which we need to induce sleep and naturally peaks late in the day. So the problem with most digital devices is they don't adjust their blue light output at different times of the day. However, the Honor 90 and the Honor Magic 5 Pro do just that. The new Honor 90 features a 3840 hertz zero flicker display, as well as dynamic dimming and circadian night display modes. We tested Honor's phone over a 24 hour period, looking at the blue output of the screen. And we found that towards the end of the day, the blue output was reduced by 40%. The results of our test using the Honor smartphones show that by using these features, you can promote healthier sleeping and reduce eye strain. Blue light is going to become an increasing problem in our environment. Even our LED lights actually are producing quite a lot of blue light. This in the long run is going to be detrimental for physiology. It's a problem sitting in the background that is going to start peaking perhaps in the next five to 10 years. A technological shift to address this problem is really needed, and that's one of the things Honor are doing with features such as dynamic dimming and circadian night display.